Hi, I'm Matt, and in this video tutorial, we're going to be looking at the Onion Amiga, and this is where things get kind of exciting because this is where we start adding in uh, third party peripherals, aka a webcam. So, what you're going to be needing is your Onion Amiga with an expansion lock. You're also going to be needing a USB hub. Now, I would strongly suggest a powered USB hub. And the reason for that is that, yes, in this video tutorial, we're just going to be adding in a webcam. But in later tutorials, and maybe with your system again, remember the Onion Amiga is an extremely flexible device. You may be adding in other tools such as a USB sound stick, for example, and it's gonna be a lot to ask of the Onion Amiga to start supplying power for all of these different devices. So I would personally suggest using a powered USB hub. So with that said, let's go and get started. So the first thing which we want to do is power down our Onion Amiga. Now, there's several ways you can do that. I am going to go with a quick and dirty option, which is to turn the off switch on our Onion Amiga. Excellent. Now, in a previous video tutorial, I showed you how to install and format and configure a USB drive. Now, I'd strongly suggest that you do use a USB drive for this setup, especially if you're storing video or maybe capturing images via your webcam, you're gonna need the extra storage space. So the first thing which we need to do is to connect our USB hub to our Onion Amiga. So let's get that plugged in like so. Next thing we wanna do is input our webcam. So let's go and plug that in as well. And also, I'm going to plug in our USB storage into our USB hub. Okay, so let's just get that set round like so. And that's our setup. So we've got our Onion Amiga with the expansion dock. We've got our USB hub, our powered USB hub, plugged into our Onion Amiga. We've got the micro USB for the power supply for the Onion Amiga and the expansion dock. And then we've got a webcam and we've been and taken our USB drive, taken it out and plugged it into our USB hub. Excellent. Now we're good to turn it back on. So I'm gonna flip the little switch on the side. And by the way, let me just move this up on the webcam for you. The on and off switch is here at the top. There is a reset switch on the left hand side, but uh, you do have the on and off switch up on the top. Now we're waiting for the Onion Amiga to boot up. I can see the little yellow LED blinking on there at the moment. So while that's doing, let's take a quick slurp of some coffee. And remember, we will need to connect via Wi-Fi to our Onion Amiga. Again, that is the simplest way of being able to connect to our Onion Amiga and then use a tool like Putty, for example, to connect to it. So I can see that it's been an updated here. The orange LED is on all the time. So let's go and connect. So jumping back to the desktop, we need to make sure that we are connected to the Onion Amiga. So let's go and connect. Brilliant, that's been connected and let's connect via terminal window. So let's choose a new session. We need to type in 192.168.3.1. Make sure it's SSH and 22 and then click on open. Give it a moment and we need to log in. So I'm gonna log in with root. And now the default password is Onioneer. Of course, if you change that like I did or you saw me do in a previous tutorial, you'll need to enter your password in there. Now, the first thing which we need to do is to make sure that our Onion Amiga has the software which we need installed or the packages. Okay, now I am going to be copy and pasting off a different screen. Don't panic, you can follow me along with this video tutorial because underneath this video tutorial I've been included all the commands which I'm running so that you can copy and paste them too. So the first thing which we need to do, and we always need to do before we go and install any packages, is to run OPKG update. If you don't run OPKG space update before you go and check or install something that you won't get reliable results back and you'll spend an hour like I did going around in a big circle because this should be available. And it was, I just didn't run OPKG space update. So I sincerely hope that little tip saves you some time in the future. So the next command we're gonna run is OPKG space install. And then we're gonna install two packages or make sure two packages are installed. The first one is Kmod video UVC and the other one is MJPJ streamer. Let's press return on that. And remember those commands are underneath this video tutorial. And in our case or in my case, these are already installed. 
Now, let's just get straight to the coolest part, which is actually streaming live video from our web camera to a web browser. Now, you will need a command. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this off the other screen. And remember, what I'm copying is available to you as well. It's just underneath this video tutorial. Okay, so I'm just going to paste that in there. I'm just going to point out the key commands here. Okay, so number one is MJPEG streamer. So that's the streamer, that's the application which we're gonna to run to broadcast video on to an IP address within our network. We've got F is the frames per second. We're gonna set that to 30 frames per second. Next, we've got the hyphen R switch and we've got that set to 1280 by 720. We've got the device which is gonna be video zero. We've also got the output going to the folder www. and then the port 80, 80. Okay, so remember 80, 80, that's important. So let's press return. Excellent, we can see that the daemon has been forked to the background, so we're gonna leave that alone now. And like I said, this is where the cool stuff really happens, is that now in your web browser, if you go to 192.168.3.1, which is the IP address of your Onion Amiga, and then on the end, you need to type in, I think it's action equals stream. Hopefully this works. Ah, I did something wrong. I missed the port, didn't I? And I'll leave that in there as well, because if I made that mistake, you probably made that mistake as well. So I missed out the port. So I've put in colon, 8080, and then question mark, action, econ, stream. Brilliant. <laughs> there we go. There is our webcam. Now, this, as you can see on my screen, is live. Look, even with the Raspberry Pi 3, you don't get this kind of refresh rate. And again, look at the size of this thing. Let me just put my thumb next to it. It's absolutely tiny on there. And look at the refresh rate on there. This will probably go a bit wild with pictures inside of pictures, but the refresh rate on this is absolutely crazy. If we think about the applications for this, we could have this hooked up with a PIR sensor on a front door so that when someone goes past the front door, we stream the video, we could have it as a security camera. Hey, over there on my 3D printer, then when, or maybe on your 3D printer, that maybe when you're printing something that you can set your own Omega on there, maybe print a little case, maybe like a little snazzy 3D printed case like that one, you could have that attached to the side with maybe the web camera attached on the top as well. And then you can then check on your phone over the internet what the progress is of your latest 3D print. You could have it on your front door. You could have it for keeping an eye on the kids. The applications for this are pretty much unlimited. But the key point here is look at the speed of the picture on here. So let me just move quite quickly. How many times have you seen webcams hooked up to a Pi, for example, and then seen how grainy or how slow they have been to react? Whereas the, on the Onion Amiga, it's ridiculously fast. So let's pop that one back down and uh, let's go back to our console. Now to stop the streamer, we can press Control C and that's been a stop that. Or has it been a stop that? No, it's still running there in the background. Now to kill the MP streamer from running is really simple. We can do kill or space and then we put the name of the application which is mjpeg streamer okay little tip there in the console all i did was highlight the name of the app or some text and then i right clicked on my keyboard and it put it on the next line for me so if i now kill all that's it that's our webcam finished okay so I hope this video tutorial has been and helped you. As we saw, the MJPEG streamer application was already installed on our Onion Amiga. To get it running was ridiculously simple. We just saw that it was a one-liner. We just ran MJPEG streamer, a couple of switches on there, which changed the frame rate, the resolution, and where the file and the port was being outputted to. And you saw me make a mistake. I forgot to put the port on the end 8080. And then once it was running, the quality and the refresh rate on it was exceptionally good. So for myself, Matt, I hope this video tutorial has been and helped you and I'll see you in the next one. So cheerios for now. Bye bye.